This is Witchbase News for Friday the 6th of September 2019. I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news ...there's a content reveal livestream coming next week... ...Commander Plater's 24 hour charity livestream is back... ...there's a 1 billion credit prize up for grabs... ...and we'll also have some community news in brief. Remember to hit like and subscribe and click the little bell icon to get a notification next time we upload a new video. You can also come and join us on the Burr Pit Discord server. This is where we organise all our outings and community events. And if you want to help support the work of this channel you can also join us on Patreon. Links to both of those as well as all our social media feeds and the Burr Pit community news email address are in the description below. Frontier announced this week on the official forums that the next content reveal livestream for the game will air next Thursday the 12th of September at 6pm UTC. Featuring executive producer Adam Woods the livestream will feature the new in-ship starter experience, the new livery system and the brand spanking new in-game currency system called ARCS. The new starter experience is voice guided in multiple languages and will tutor new commanders to the game in basic flight and scanning, supercruise and navigation, combat around a megaship and hyperspace jumping and docking at a starport. Veteran commanders who wish to experience the new content or anyone who just wants to brush up on the basics will also be able to access the lessons from their ship at any point by accessing the training section on the right hand panel. The new livery system will now allow commanders to change their ships appearance from the main menu instead of having to dock at a starport meaning no matter where you are in the galaxy you'll be able to bolt on a new spoiler or apply a new paint job. And the ARC's in-game currency will be used to purchase any new items from the Elite store. ARC's themselves will be purchasable from the store but you'll also be able to just earn them by playing the game. The content update itself goes live on the 18th of September less than a week later. When asked on the forums when we're likely to see a new interstellar initiative in the game Will Flanagan responded by saying that a new interstellar initiative is on the way and will be launching after the September update. If we had to guess we say that's probably going to happen on the 19th or the 26th of September or thereabouts. Commander Plater announced this week that he's doing another of his 24 hour charity livestreams in aid of the British Thyroid Foundation from 12 noon UK time on the 28th of September. This year he's adding a twist to the proceedings He'll be joined on the stream every 2 hours by a different Elite Dangerous Community content creator who will then set the Valiant Commander a new challenge that he'll be unaware of until it's revealed live on the stream. Something he has to do, find or achieve in the game. I'm very pleased to say that he's very kindly invited myself and Commander Rini to not only join in the proceedings but also to set his first challenge something we're now well into the planning stages of. I've linked Commander Plater's video on the subject below as well as the Just Giving link for you to donate to what is a very very worthy cause via an extraordinary member of our community. In the previous 2 years of organising this event Plater has raised in excess of £12,000. We very much look forward to seeing you on the stream with us from midday UK time on the 28th of September. There's a bounty for 1 billion credits up for grabs in the game and all you need to do to win it is drive an SRV. Commander Turk Winif has offered up the prize payable in void opals to anyone that can beat any of his times on the Pomesh Ridge Challenge. If you've not seen the Pomesh Ridge Challenge before it's a thing to behold. I've linked a couple of videos below that demonstrate what you're up against should you wish to give it a go. Community luminary Alec Turner has also offered up a £10 Elite Dangerous store credit for anyone that can beat Turk Winif's Pomesh black run time of 9 minutes and 11 seconds. You'll need to back up your time with video evidence obviously and we wish you the very best of luck. We really do. And finally some community news in brief ...not to be confused with community news in briefs which would of course be me live streaming from just my underpants. That's a very different show and it's never going to happen. Ever. Commander Steve Vader 
Twitter regular and friend of the channel hit triple elite this week in the game. He's obviously not the first and he won't be the last but this one is all his. Right on commander. The milkshakes and scooby snacks are on you at the next Frontier Expo. Khan Industries on Reddit posted a picture of their 3D printed models of every single ship in Elite finished and fully painted after 2 years of work. We're not jealous. We are. The aforementioned Alec Turner broke through the 1 billion credit balance in game by selling a buckyball beer mat to the fuel rats and videoed the whole thing. Commander Machine has posted part 2 of Machines for Hire episode 7 ...making a machine. You may remember we featured part 1 a couple of weeks back. This stuff is always worth your eyes. And if you missed the Frontier livestream last night with the Twitch streamer and featured commander Jack Little then do yourself a massive favour and go and watch it. If you're unfamiliar with Jack Littles work I won't spoil it just please go and look at this most unique of elite content creators and if you are familiar with Jack's work but you haven't yet seen the stream then the man himself is actually interviewed on camera. There's links to all these stories and everything we've talked about in the show today in the description below. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….O7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do please keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.